Uh, good afternoon. Um, welcome to this uh, this this web webinar uh, on studying Korean at uh, at SOAS. Uh, thank you for for all taking the the time to to be here uh, today. Um, my name is Alan Cummings. I'm the uh, admissions tutor for our uh, Korean uh, undergraduate degrees uh, this year. Um, so this afternoon, uh, I'm going to give you uh, something of a sense of what studying Korean at SOAS is like. Um, I'm sure that, uh, that lots of you will have uh, some questions uh, about the degrees or about studying at SOAS, um, but please feel free uh, to save those for the end. Uh, I'll leave 10 minutes or so uh, at the end of the talk um, where I can answer them. Um, so you know, please just type your uh, comments into the, into the chat and then I'll go back through them uh, at, the, at the end of the talk and try to answer as many as I can. Um, so uh, why should you why should you come to SOAS? Um, you know, academics make fairly hopeless salespeople, uh, I think. But uh, part of my duty here is to try to convince you that why you about why you should come to, to SOAS over any of the other universities that teach uh, Korean in the UK. Um, and there's there's a few things that I would I would point to three or four things. Um, the first is that SOAS really offers an amazing concentration of knowledge uh, and expertise. Uh, on the languages and cultures of Asia, Africa, uh, and the Middle East. Uh, there's nowhere else in the world uh, that has as many specialists, uh, over 350 uh, of us uh, in the languages and the art, the politics, the music, the economics, uh, and the history uh, of, these, of these really important uh, regions. Um, in the East Asia department, uh, we currently have six uh, full-time staff. Uh, who, who work on research, uh, Korean linguistics, uh, and Korean history, uh, and Korean uh, literature, modern and, and pre-modern uh, literature. Um, in addition, there are other ac academics involved in the study uh, of Korea in other departments uh, around SOAS, uh, in the art and archaeology department, for example, in the religions uh, department uh, as well. Um, so if you if you choose to come to SOAS, you have a really amazing opportunity to study with some of the major scholars uh, in their respective uh, fields. Uh, Asian studies at SOAS has been recognised uh, in the last research assessment exercise as being the preeminent institution uh, in the UK for for Asian studies. Um, so that's one of the things you you have this really rich environment here where you you'll be able to to study with uh, with people who are working at the forefront of their uh, different disciplines in the study of, uh, of Korea. Another thing I'd point you to um, is, is actually the SOAS library. Um, maybe that's not going to be the first thing you think about uh, when you come to choose your, your degree, um, but as you, as you progress through, to, through the degree, um, as you get into your third and fourth year, uh, in particular, your ability to, uh, to read uh, Korean language material will, will increase. Uh, and the and the SOAS library has has a really rich set of resources uh, in Korean as well as books in English which are which are about uh, Korea. So the SOAS library is is really an important resource. It's one of the best uh, in the country, uh, indeed, uh, in Europe. Um, and there's there's a vast range of material there that you will be able to to, to have access to if you come to to SOAS. Uh, the final thing I, I'd say. Uh, is, is about you know the atmosphere and the location uh, of SOAS uh, itself. Um, you know SOAS is is not is not a is not a huge university. You're not going to be overwhelmed by the by the number of uh, of people here. Uh, there's around 4,500 students or so. Um, but we are a very very international uh, university. There are students at SOAS from 130 different countries around the world. Um, 45 50 percent of our student body uh, is from from outside the UK. Um, Location of SOAS, I mean, it's right, right in the centre of, of London. You're just behind the British Museum. Uh, so from SOAS, you're able to, to walk to all of these, these wonderful places. If you're interested in Korean film, uh, if you're interested uh, in, in Korean music or Korean food, maybe, uh, there's just so many opportunities, far more opportunities in London to come into contact and access that. Uh, there's, there, there's things that you would uh, elsewhere uh, in the UK. Um, okay, but I, I should move on and, and say a few things uh, about about the degrees. I can see that some of the, the questions coming in are about those those kinds of things. Um, so let me let me just explain first of all uh, that we have we have two different types of 
uh, degree uh, at undergraduate level in the East Asia department. Um, and the easiest way to think about these is that we, is that we have um, three-year degrees uh, and we have four-year degrees. Um, so our four-year degree uh, is called BA Korean. Um, and it's a four-year degree because it includes uh, a compulsory year that you spend abroad studying uh, at uh, a university uh, in Korea. Um, it's possible that year abroad is in the second year. Uh, it's possible to combine uh, this particular degree, so BA Korean, with some of the other subjects uh, that SOAS offers. Uh, so, for example, it's possible to do a joint degree uh, in BA Korean and economics, or BA Korean uh, and management, or BA Korean and Japanese studies. Um, if you go onto the, the website uh, and look under the, the BA Korean and um, option uh, on the degree list, uh, you'll get a full list of all of those different options uh, that we offer. So there's about a different, a dozen different subjects that you can, can combine uh, BA Korean or BA Korean studies with. Um, the other, the other undergraduate uh, degree uh, that we offer is BA Korean studies. Um, and this is a three-year degree, um, so it doesn't have a year abroad uh, component to it. Um, the, only, the only exceptions to that are if you choose to study BA, Ch BA Korean studies and Chinese, or BA Korean studies and Japanese. Uh, and if you choose either of those options, uh, then you will spend, uh, your degree will take four years because you spend a year abroad in either China uh, or, or Japan. Um, so that's that's the major. You can also combine BH, uh, Korean studies with all of the subjects that I uh, mentioned as well. So it's possible to do a joint degree with both of those, with both the three-year degree and with the and with the four-year degree. Um, so the the other major difference between those uh, two degrees um, is that on BA Korean um, there is a, a very powerful, a very intense focus uh, upon language. On that four-year degree we aim to get you to a very high level of competence uh, in the language, in your reading, in your writing, in your speaking, uh, and listening. Um, so the focus on that degree, particularly in the first, second, and, and third years, most of your time will be spent uh, studying, studying language. Um, on BA Korean studies, uh, there's a, less, a lesser focus on language. Um, and there's a, a greater focus on other disciplinary subjects. So modules that have to do with uh, Korean history or Korean literature, or Korean art maybe, or religions. Uh, there's, a whole, there's a whole list of, of all of these modules. Uh, again, you can, you can go on the website and, uh, and get a, a better idea of the full range of the modules that we, uh, that, that we offer. Um, so that's, that's the major difference. So it's, it's a three-year degree or it's a four-year degree. Uh, and the four-year degree, there's a much heavier focus uh, on, on language acquisition uh, in that, in that four-year uh, degree. Um, let, me, let me give you a little more uh, idea of what the, of what the structure uh, of those degrees are like. Um, you know, the way that your course, your module options work uh, as a student at SOAS is that each year you're here, uh, you have to take 120 credits. Um, and some of those credits will be chosen for you. There will be compulsory uh, modules. Um, and later on, particularly third and fourth year, uh, there will be lots of kind of options that you can, uh, that you can choose uh, for yourself. So to some extent, you're able to kind of sculpt uh, the, the, the modules and the, the subjects that you're, uh, that you're taking. Um, but for example, if you're doing single subject uh, BA Korean, in your first year, uh, the modules you would have to take are uh, K100, uh, Elementary Korean. Uh, this is the, the core language module. Uh, it's worth uh, 60 credits. Um, then there's a module called the Introduction to the History of East Asia uh, that you will take. This, this is, a, this is a, a new module. Uh, it's not on the website site yet, but this will be, uh, this will be running from, uh, from, from September uh, next year. Um, and it's a module, of course, which is about uh, the history of Korea uh, and China and Japan, and about the interrelationships across history uh, between those, those, those three states. Um, we also have uh, a module called Modern Korea II, uh, Culture and Soci Society, uh, which is looking at kind of um, 20th century um, and later contemporary uh, culture and society in Korea. 
um, because you spend your second year there, we want to prepare you for what for the kind of things you're going, the distinctive things about Korean society you're going to encounter while you're there. Uh, so that's what that module is preparing you for. Um, we also have a, a study skills uh, module uh, in the first year, which is there to prepare you uh, with, with some of the skills that you're going to use throughout your entire degree. How do you use the library? How do you do research? Um, how do you write an essay? What does an effective argument uh, look like? Um, so that's that's the, the, those are the modules that you that you take in the uh, in the first year. Um, I should say that that uh, K100 Elementary Korean module um, it aims to teach you basic speaking, listening, reading, writing, and translation skills, um, and that module you spend around 10 hours uh, a week uh, in in classrooms so different types of classes you know there are grammar classes conversation classes writing classes uh, and so on um, I should I should actually add here that our language teachers say that you know in your first year for every hour that you spend in a language classroom uh, you're going to need to spend maybe two or three hours um, studying the language by yourself. Uh, so learning vocab, practicing Hangul, um, doing homework and, and so on. Um, so if you begin to think about you know, the amount of, of time that this is going to take, so 10 hours in a classroom per week, 20 or 30 hours on top of that of self-study, uh, and that's just half the modules that you're taking because you have the other, you know, the history and the and the culture and society modules that you're you're, you're taking uh, as well. Um, you know, that's that's just to prepare you. Our, our language teachers uh, are are lovely; they're they're wonderful, um, but they also require you to put in uh, to commit a lot of time uh, and a lot of effort uh, to kind of get you to the level where you where you where you want to be. Um, this is it's a very rigorous, it's a very intensive. Uh, language course on, on BA Korean. We aim to kind of get you up to uh, a reading, writing, and speaking, and, and listening, kind of high school or, or beginning university uh, kind of kind of level um, in four years. So you will have to be very very committed to the study of language, and that's also something that we we look for uh, in the in the applications. Um, as you as you move further uh, through the through the degree program. Um, the second year is a year abroad. I'll, I'll say it a little bit uh, about that. Um, so the Korean year abroad uh, is in is in year two. Um, there are two different partner universities that we uh, that we have in Korea. Um, so there's there's Korea University KU uh, and there's Sogan uh, University. Um, and we have there's a there's a placement test to determine which of those two partners uh, that you will that you will you will go to. Um, the, the year that you spend in Korea, most of your time in Korea you spend uh, studying Korean language. Uh, again, it's a very intensive program uh, that they offer. You know, you're, you're coming in, you will have done a year at SOAS already, but they're kind of aiming to, to kind of to, to, to really build on that foundation that you got uh, in the uh, that you've got in the first year. Um, that uh, that year abroad, uh, it is it is compulsory uh, for students who are on uh, BA Korean. Uh, so that's something that you need to, to bear in mind when you when you think about which degree you want to choose. Um, if you're kind of worried about the, the financing uh, of that of that year abroad, there's a couple of things uh, which I should, which I should mention. Um, if you are if you're getting student finance, uh, for example. Um, because that year abroad is a compulsory part of your program, uh, student finance will, will cover that year abroad. So when you first apply for student finance, you tell them that you're taking a, a four-year degree um, and that there is a, a year abroad as part of that degree, um, and then they will, they will offer you the funding for that, for that year abroad. Um, the way it works in terms of, uh, in terms of, of money, uh, for that year abroad, um, you pay a reduced fee to SOAS uh, for that year. Uh, currently, I think it's around 1,300 or 1,400 pounds. Um, and that will cover all of your tuition uh, while you're in Korea. Um, of course, you also have to, you know, you've got to pay for your plane fare, you've got to pay for your accommodation when you're there. Um, but 
Um, so that, that's why we have that we have that very reduced uh, fee to, in order to help you to help you do that. Um, there are also a, a limited number of, of scholarships uh, available uh, each year to help students with with some of the cost of the year abroad. Um, for example, the the British Korean Veterans Association. Uh, offer some scholarships uh, to our students uh, each year, uh, and again, those will be determined on a on a competitive uh, on a competitive basis. Um, it's you know, of course, it's a fantastic opportunity to to go to live and study uh, in in Korea uh, for a whole year. It allows you to really improve uh, your language skills and your understanding uh, of of Korean culture. Aside from all of the the new friends you'll make, the wonderful experiences that you'll have. Uh, while you're while you're living there, um, once you come back uh, from Korea, then you have the third year and you have the fourth year uh, here uh, here in London. Um, as you kind of move further up into the third and fourth year, uh, the language modules you take they become more about uh, using the language skills that you've managed to to build up so far, and you begin to apply them to real life materials. Uh, so, for example, in the fourth year, uh, you can start reading. Um, you know, Korean literary texts um, in the original, uh, kind of reading through them and translating them uh, in class and thinking about the about the content as well. You'll have courses where you're where you're looking at um, Korean historical texts, for example, if if, if that's something that, that interests you. Um, so yeah, as you come into the third and fourth year, you have more of those what we call language use modules. Uh, there are also uh, there's a range of more advanced uh, non-language modules that we that we offer, um, including there's a really popular course we have on, on North Korea. Um, so you can you can see the information uh, again about about all of those modules on the uh, on the website. You can get a full list of them, how they're assessed, uh, how many hours per week they are, uh, what the content is, what the readings are, uh, and so on. All of that uh, is is on the website. Um, I know that some of you are, are interested in uh, employment, uh, perhaps, um, and a degree in, in BA Korean or Korean studies, uh, it really provides you with, with lots of different transferable skills. Uh, you have lots of writing skills, research skills that you'll develop through the working on your non-language modules. Uh, you'll have the skills that you develop as well. Um, many uh, Korean companies are looking to employ uh, foreign graduates who can understand uh, Korean. You'll also have opportunities to work with, with Western companies who, who want to expand uh, into Korea. Um, recent graduates uh, from SOAS have ended up working in all sorts of, of interesting different areas. Uh, there are people who have gone into, uh, into industry, uh, people who have gone into work in, in, Korean, uh, in Korean media, uh, for example. Uh, translation, uh, I know that some of you were mentioning translation earlier uh, in, the, in the chat bar. Um, some of you may know uh, the novel The Vegetarian, uh, which won the Man Booker International Prize uh, a few years ago. Um, that prize winning uh, translation was actually made by one of our, our, our BA Korean uh, graduates uh, at SOAS. Uh, so there's, there's something really interesting uh, to aim for that kind of translation. There's some people who go into, into different industries, who go into telecoms maybe, uh, people who, who go to teach uh, in Korea. So there's, there's a whole range of things that you can uh, you can possibly uh, end up doing. Um, I'd like to use the, the rest of the time to, to try to answer some of your uh, questions. Uh, so I'm, I'm just scrolling back through the questions to, to see uh, what we have. Um, so I'll just take these in the order they came. Um, so Madeline uh, has asked, uh, if you study Korean as a major and Japanese as a minor, can you spend the summer um, in Japan. Um, for students who are studying uh, Japanese as their major and Korean as the minor, uh, we have a special program whereby they can they can spend a few weeks studying at university in Korea. Uh, unfortunately, the reverse is not true. Um, so there isn't any university program that we can send you to. Uh, but of course, Korea and Japan are very close to each other. So if you're studying in Korea, uh, you you have you're perfectly free uh, to go and spend some uh, some some time some time in Japan uh, during the university holidays. Um, so that's that's basically how how, how that works. Uh, let's see. So Tassin Zara Sain has asked, uh, how does a joint degree work um, for uh, history uh, and, and Korean? Um, the way that the that the work on that uh, is is spread out. Um, so in the first year, 
as I say, you take 120 credits each year. So 60 of those credits will be Korean and 60 will be history. Um, so those 60 credits that you take in your first year, uh, on the Korean side, they will just be Korean language. So that that is all you'll be doing with us in the first year. And then in the history side, you'll be taking whatever there. Um, if you go onto the history department and you, you look at, at there, at the at the compulsory modules for their joint degrees then you can you can see which modules you have to take on the on the history side uh the second year you will spend in korea with 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 everybody else uh and in korea you you will just be studying uh korean then when you come back third and fourth year it'll be a similar kind of split so you can 60 credits will be uh from the Korean modules and 60 credits each year then will be from, from the history modules. And as you go into the third and fourth year, you can you can kind of choose, uh, there's a little bit of choice of, of what you can take uh, on, on each side. Um, let's see, so um, Charnel has asked about, in terms of qualifications, um, you've noticed that we, we asked, uh, we say that we prefer to see an A-level in foreign languages. Um, we state that as a, as a preference rather than saying that, that it's uh, essential. Uh, the thing that I'm really interested to see is, you know, if you have some experience of studying uh, a foreign language, then tell us about that. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's GCSE or if it's A-level. Sorry about that. I think we we got we got disconnected and I were reconnected. Um, so I was I was saying that um, if you've studied a, a foreign language before, tell us about it in your application. Uh, we don't really mind whether it's GCSE, whether it's A level, or whether it's something else. We just want to know that you that you know what studying a language is is all about. Um, Charlie has a has a question. She asks, uh, what happens during the year abroad? Um, is it is it like a school exchange or you study at a different university uh, or do you mostly remain independent? Uh, the answer to that is uh, it's 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 an exchange program. So you go to Korea and you study uh, at university in Korea, uh, and they have a special Korean language program there for for foreign students, um, and you'll be spending lots of hours studying uh, Korean language uh, in 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 the university. Um, of course, you have your free time. You have your evenings. You have your your weekends to do uh, to do what, what you want to do. Uh, Hannah has asked about whether you get to choose the university you study at during the year abroad. Um, as I say, we have we have two different partners in Korea. We have Korea University and we have Sogang uh, University. Um, you can state a preference, um, and then we will we will kind of allocate you based upon uh, results from a, from a placement test and from your first year. Um, from your from your first year courses, um, Vicky uh, is asking a similar kind of question. Yeah, so Korea University and Sogang University are our, our partners, um, and she also asks, do you have to have done a foreign language previously to be eligible? Um, we prefer you to have studied a foreign language before. Uh, so if you haven't studied foreign language yet, try studying a foreign language now, so you get a little bit of a sense of what studying uh, it is about. Um, second question from, from Tassin, uh, who says, I'm yet to send in my, my UCAS form. Will this affect my chance of getting an offer at university? Um, quick answer to that, no. Um, the applications, the, you know, the closing date for the applications is in January, so you still got plenty of time. Uh, we don't prioritize those applications that, that come in first. Um, and even after that deadline in January has passed, we keep on looking at, at applications all through February, March, uh, April, May, June, you know, we're, we're still looking at that application. So you can still apply even after that, that deadline. So please, you know, please get your application in, but you're not going to be disadvantaged if, it, if it's coming in, you know, after Christmas or sometime in, uh, in January. Um, Christabel has asked a, a similar kind of uh, a question about, about uh, Korean and, uh, and law. Um, the, you know, the, the, the combinations uh, for that uh, are, um, you, you can see the available combinations. I'm not actually sure, is there a, com a combination with Korean law? I think there, there may be. 
Um, but uh, let me let me check that. If you want to send me an email, I can I can look into that and uh, and get back to you. Um, Siri has uh, asked about you know, if you have prior knowledge of the Korean language. Uh, is it possible to choose more advanced modules from the beginning? Um, yes, we have an alternative program that we can. You know, if you arrive and you've done quite a lot of Korean before, we can give you a placement test, uh, and then our language teachers can place you in a slightly higher level uh, of uh, of language uh, module from from the beginning. Uh, so yeah, we have got, we have got means and mechanisms to to work with you. Um, let's see more more questions. Uh, I think some of these we've answered already. Um, Naira has a question about about housing in Korea. Um, this, 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 is, this is actually an interesting one. Um, our Korean partner universities do have dormitories, um, so you can choose to stay uh, in a dormitory. Um, the most of our students in the past have deliberately chosen not to stay uh, in Korean university dormitories. Uh, I think because the, the regulations they have are quite strict about kind of the hours that you you have to be back in the dormitory at and whether you can have friends to visit and so on and so forth they're quite strict um, so almost all of our students each year uh, they choose to you know to rent accommodation uh, outside the university privately um, we give you lots of advice uh, on this you know the students who were there last year you get to meet them and they can explain how it all works um, Lots of students, uh, you know, so our students end up uh, sharing a flat uh, together. Um, so, you know, if you want to be in a dormitory, you can be in a dormitory. If, if you want to go outside, uh, you prefer to go outside and have a bit more freedom, then you can, uh, you can, you can do that. Uh, Christabel has a question about uh, joining law and Korean together, and would you still be able to become uh, a lawyer? Um, if you're interested in becoming a qualified lawyer. Um, what normally happens is you can take a degree and then at the end of that you can take a, a law conversion course um, and that will then qualify you uh, to be a lawyer. Uh, that would be one way uh, to approach that. Um, let's see, Tassin has, uh, has asked, can I continue to study international tourism management for postgraduate if I consider to study international relations as a career? Or with with history, yeah, that, I think that would be that would be an interesting uh, choice to make. International relations uh, is 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 kind of is more about politics, I think, than than tourism usually. Uh, but I think you could gain some some interest. Uh, Vicky, who asks, uh, can you do work experience in the year abroad in Korea? Um, that depends upon your your visa. I think at the moment the the, the student visas for Korea do allow you to work a limited number uh, of hours uh, each week, um, but that you know the number of those hours that can vary and it depends upon whatever the Korean government says it's going to be. But I think in the past you know, students have been able to work for you know ten hours a week or or something like that. Um, 